Hi everyone, welcome to CCUF. So we're currently in the University of Guelph Humber session. We're here with Rachel and Stefan, and we're gonna get to know a little bit more about their presentation. Awesome, thank you so much. So, hey everyone, I would just like to take this time to welcome you all to this session all about the University of Guelph Humber. My name is Rachel, my pronouns are she and her, and I'm a student recruitment officer here at the University of Guelph Humber. I'm also a recent graduate of the Justice Studies program. And joining me today, I have Stefan, who is also a student recruitment officer and a recent graduate of our community social services program. So throughout the session, if you have any questions at all, feel free to pop them into the chat and we'll be more than happy to answer them as well. Before I begin, I would like to read a land acknowledgement. So we acknowledge that the University of Guelph Humber and Humber College are located within the traditional and treaty lands of the Mississaugas of the Credit, known as Adobacoke, the place of the Black Elders in the Michi Sagi language. The region is uniquely situated along the Humber River watershed, which historically provided an integral connection for Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, and Wendat peoples between the Ontario Lakeshore and Lake Simcoe Georgian Bay regions. Now home to people of numerous nations, Adobico continues to provide a vital source of interconnection for all. Have you ever seen a plant wall made up of more than a thousand different plants? What about a cool set of spiral stairs or even a giant gray horned owl walking through the halls? Well, welcome to the University of Guelph Humber. If you've heard all about the University of Guelph Humber, that's great. But if you haven't, you're in for a treat. Like any good story, we'll start right at the beginning when the University of Guelph Humber was founded in 2002. The University of Guelph Humber is a collaboration between two renowned institutions, the University of Guelph and Humber College Institute of Technology and Advanced Learning. We have seven focus programs. Now, each of these focus programs will provide you with theory and practice that go far beyond the four walls of a classroom. We wanna offer you more in four years. We want to offer you more opportunities, more perspectives, more supports, and so much more for you. You'll receive an honors bachelor degree from the University of Guelph that will provide you with foundational knowledge. You'll also receive a diploma from Humber College that will provide you with hands-on learning. Now, you're probably wondering, how can I achieve this in four years? Well, you'll take focus programs where you will have core courses that uh, zero in to what you're passionate about. If you're passionate about learning how others think, learning about communication, or do you just want to help others? Well, we've got the courses for that. We're also a close-knit community, which means there are small class sizes. We have an average class size of 49 students. Our largest lecture hall is up to 125 students, and we have a student population of just under 5,000. You'll get industry connections and workplace experience through field placements built into each and every one of our seven focus programs. Now, depending on the program you're interested in, you may be required to take anywhere from 100 to 850 hours of hands-on experience. And all these great things I mentioned happen at one convenient location right in Toronto on Humber's North Campus, which means you're at the center of everything. And as many of you know, Toronto is Canada's largest city. It's incredibly diverse and the perfect place for access to both placement and employment opportunities. So after graduation, your education can lead you straight into the workforce or onto further education like teacher's college, graduate school, or professional school. And we've had many successful grads who have gone on to do jobs all over the world. And now that you've heard from me, why don't you watch this quick video to hear from some of our students? My time here at the University of Guelph Humber has been one big adventure. It has taught me so much that I need to learn in life, not just educationally, but personally. People are so welcoming and kind, and it's just that sense of community that I don't think I felt anywhere else. I was very excited to come to a school where I didn't feel like just a number, I felt like an actual person. The reason why I chose the University of Paul Palmer was the fact that it was degree and diploma. Two credentials, all done in four years. A degree, but also a diploma that would put me ahead of other students, especially when looking for a career afterwards. I chose the University of Guelphomber mainly because of the placement hours that were being offered. That will give me a lot of hands-on experience and allow me to see what I really want to do with my kinesiology degree. 
the small class sizes in the small community just really makes me feel at home and it was easy for me to get involved and to form meaningful relationships with the people around me. I've gained connections in the field to my placement and I've also gained a lot of really close friendships. So I'm incredibly grateful for my time here at Will Plumber so far. The people I've met, my classes, the professors, all together just creates this one brilliant experience that I'm so happy to have and I'm so glad that I chose this school because of it. I love the University of Guelph Humber. I have learned so much cool, interesting, and new ideas that have really expanded my knowledge and have prepared me for my future career. I've seen the most personal growth in myself in the past year, and I honestly couldn't see myself going to any other university. I've gone and visited some of the universities that my friends go to, and they just don't feel the same way that it feels here. The University of Guelph Humber encouraged me to pursue my dreams and to work hard for those goals that I want to attain. And they allowed me to truly believe within my core that I can achieve anything that I set my mind to. I feel like the University of Guelph Humber, just in my first year alone, has really helped me to become the person that I want to be. Hey, Rachel, you're just going to have to unmute yourself. If you stop sharing your screen, I can put it back up as soon as you're set. Okay, are you able to hear me now? Yep, you're good. My apologies, sorry about that. All right, so onto our business program. So we have an incredible business program where you'll be exposed to a range of different areas in business. You'll receive an honors bachelor of business administration from the University of Guelph and a diploma in business administration from Humber College. So in your first two years, you look at the core foundations of business and you might take courses like business statistics, microeconomics or business communications. And in your third year, you'll get to choose from one of six areas of emphasis in either accounting, finance, international business, marketing, management and small business management and entrepreneurship. Now, something I do want to let you all know about is that we have introduced a suite of six new HR courses. So upon graduating, if you'd like to pursue your CPA, CFA, or your CHRP designation, you can do so. You'll also get hands-on experience in the form of 100 up to 520 hours of workplace experience. And we've had students who have done their placements at places like Deloitte, KPMG, and Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment. Now, if you'd like to get involved, you can do so through our case competitions. My friend Vic actually had the opportunity to take part in the Central European case competition where she and her team were among the top 25 finalists around the world. What a great accomplishment. Now, further education could look like getting your Master of Business Administration, your Master of Marketing, and attending law schools. And some further careers that may be of interest to you could be as a financial planner, an investment advisor, a tax specialist, and more. Now, are you interested in helping individuals, families, or the community, and you want to have a lasting impact on society? If so, you might be interested in our Community Social Services Program, or CSS for short. You'll receive an Honors Bachelor of Applied Science in Community Social Services from the University of Guelph and a Social Service Worker Diploma from Humber College. So in your first and second years, you'll look at things like counseling, understanding human behavior, and working with various client populations. Some courses you could take include couple and family dynamics and the political process and social work. You'll also get to choose from one of two areas of emphasis in either mental health and addictions or youth and family counseling. Now we have a clinical focus in coursework, which means you'll get to practice things like interviewing, counseling, crisis intervention, and conflict resolution in our very own experiential learning lab. You'll gain more than 850 hours of workplace experience and we've had students complete their placements at Crisis Counseling Lines, at Big Brothers Big Sisters of Toronto, and at Youth Drop-In Centers. If you'd like to get involved, one of the ways you can do so is through our Sea Change Symposium, which is an annual one-day event where you can hear from keynote speakers, 
uh, participate in a mindfulness corner, and sometimes they even have therapy dogs. Now, my colleague Stefan was part of the Sea Change Symposium for three years, where in his first year, he was a volunteer. In his second year, he was hired as an intern. And in his third year, he was hired as a coordinator. Further education could look like getting your Master of Arts in Critical Disability Studies, your Master of Education, or your Master of Social Work. And we've had many students who have gone on to pursue careers as a crisis counselor, a family support coordinator, or a mental health worker. I do want to let you all know that you can also apply for registration as a social service worker with the Ontario College of Social Workers and Social Service Workers. If you love kids and are passionate about them, then our Early Childhood Studies program might be the right fit for you. You'll receive an Honor Bachelor of Applied Science in Early Childhood Studies from the University of Guelph and a diploma in early childhood education from Humber College. You'll learn all about the physical, social, emotional, and cognitive development of young children. And some courses you could take in include infant and toddler development and mental health and trauma in early childhood studies. You'll get to take practicums throughout all four years of study to gain more than 800 hours of hands-on experience. And we've had students who have completed their practicums at Sick Kids, Scholastics, and Child Care Centers. Now, did you know that we also have an ECS resource room that's filled with iPads, robots, blocks, and therapeutic toys for use at any time? We have an innovative learning lab that's filled with smart boards, bike desks, wiggle chairs, and it even includes a cozy corner that can really help you to learn about a child and encourage a, an environment of diversity and inclusion. Now, our Early Childhood Studies program will provide you with the right credentials for working in the Early Childhood Studies field and for teaching at the primary and junior level if you choose to further your education at Teachers College. All graduates are able to register as an early childhood educator, and some careers that may be of interest to you could be as a speech pathologist, a children's right advocate, or a special needs worker. Further education could look like getting your master of social work, attending nursing school, attending Teachers College, and more. Have you ever wondered what it's like to work in the exciting field of justice and law while helping others? What about learning about the policies and rules we follow or stepping out into the community and interacting with various populations? If that's you, you might be interested in our justice studies program. You'll receive an honors bachelor of applied science in justice studies from the University of Guelph and a diploma in police foundations or community and justice services from Humber College. So in your first year, you'll build a foundation of our justice system, and you might take courses like Introduction to Law and Introduction to Police Powers. And in your second year, you'll get to choose between either Community and Justice Services, which focuses on social issues in the community, or Police Foundations, which prepares you for various levels of law enforcement. Now, some courses you could take include Conflict Resolution, Youth in the Law, and Forensic Techniques. But did you know we also have a crime scene investigation room where you can observe, observe staged crime scenes? You'll gain over 200 hours of placements in both your second and third years. And we've had students complete their placements in parole and probation at law firms and with the special investigation unit. As a recent graduate of this program, I really loved the hands-on experience because every day was new and exciting. In one class, I walked in and I got to perform a simulated arrest on my friends. In another class, I walked in and I got to experience a crime scene. It was definitely a cool experience. Now, further education could look like getting your Master of Arts in Criminology, your Master of Public Administration, or attending law schools at Osgoode and U of T. And some future careers that may be of interest to you could be as a victim services worker or an anti-money laundering investigator. Are you passionate about how the human body works and looking at things like fitness, health, nutrition, and movement? If so, you might be interested in our kinesiology program. You'll receive an honors bachelor of applied science in kinesiology from the University of Guelph and a diploma in fitness and health promotion from Humber College. So in your first two years, you'll learn all about the basics of the human body. And through a human anatomy course, you'll get the opportunity to visit a human cadaver lab at the University of Guelph with your class. Now you may or may not know what a human cadaver is, but a human cadaver is a deceased body that's been donated to science for the purposes of study and research. We have state-of-the-art fitness labs for you to use, things like bod pod machines that measure your weight and volume, and things like VO2 max machines where you can be hooked up to a tube and a heart rate monitor. 
You'll get hands-on experience in the form of 87 up to 241 hours, both on and off campus. And we've had students complete their placements at the Center of Addiction and Mental Health, in physio and chiropractic settings, and even at cancer centers. My friend Sophie got to complete her placement at the Princess Margaret Cancer and Survivorship Rehab Clinic, where she got to work with leading researchers and kinesiologists and help to implement exercise plans for those impacted by cancer. Now, further education could look like attending chiropractic college or medical school, and all graduates can apply for registration as a registered kinesiologist. Further careers could be as a health promotion manager or a wellness coordinator. Has anyone ever told you that you're tech savvy or a digital person? Maybe that you're artsy and creative. Or do you like communication and public speaking? Or all of the above? If that's you, you might be interested in our Media and Communication Studies program. You'll receive an Honors Bachelor of Applied Arts in Media and Communication Studies from the University of Guelph and a Diploma in Media Communications from Humber College. So in your first year, you'll dive into key media perspectives and explore emerging trends. Some courses you could take include freedom rights in the media and subcultures in mainstream media. Now, after your second year, you'll get to choose from one of five specializations in either digital marketing and social media, media management and analytics, multimedia journalism, public relations, or visual communication. But if you don't want to choose just one, you can choose to take a variety of courses in all areas of media. Following your second year, you'll get to complete an internship of over 240 hours. And we've had our students complete their internships at the Sports Network, at 680 News, and at Walt Disney Studios Canada. My friend Megan got to complete her internship at Universal Music Canada, where she was a marketing intern and got to monitor new music releases and witness the behind the scenes of the music industry. You'll have access to the latest technology, such as a virtual reality studio and Mac and PC labs. And you'll get to use our media cage where you can sign out cameras, lighting, and other equipment for class use. Further education could look like getting your Master of Journalism or your Master of Professional Communication. And we've had many students who've gone on to pursue careers as a radio or TV broadcaster, an event producer, photographer, and more. Last but not least, are you interested in studying the brain, exploring neuroscience, or psychotherapy? If so, you might be interested in our psychology program. You'll receive an Honors Bachelor of Applied Science in Psychology from the University of Guelph and a Diploma in General Arts and Science from Humber College. You can also choose to receive an additional third credential in the form of one of three optional certificates in either intercultural relations, organizational behavior, or research skills and analysis. You'll get to take over 25 core psychology courses that focus on topics like aging and development, learning difficulties, cognition, and persuasion. And you'll get to complete over 100 hours of workplace experience. We've had students complete their placements at the Alzheimer's Society of Toronto, the Ontario Correctional Institute, and the Canadian Psychological Association. You'll get to take part in a field course addressing Indigenous knowledge in Northern Ontario, where you can learn from elders and members of the Indigenous community. Some of the ways you can get involved is through our societies like the Sai Kai Honor Society and the Psych Society. Further education could look like getting your master's and eventually your PhD in psychology, your master of science in neuroscience and attending medical school. And we've had students pursue careers as an addiction counselor, psychotherapist, rehabilitation counselor, and more. Now, I don't know about you all, but does anyone here enjoy traveling? I sure enjoy traveling and it has been a while since I've done so. But at the University of Guelph Humber, we want to provide you with more opportunities to do so through study abroad, where you can spend anywhere from 10 to 12 days in countries like France, where you'll get to explore monuments and cook with chefs, or even Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands, where you can swim with turtles and sharks. The best part about these study abroad is that they count towards an elective credit. And we want to make these more accessible to you by providing you with travel grants that can range anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500. Now, if spending 10 to 12 days doesn't sound like enough time, we have our Semester Elsewhere program where you can spend a semester overseas learning and traveling in a beautiful country gaining hands-on experience. And at the University of Guelph Humber, we have a partnership with City Law School at City University in London, in London, England, where you can complete your law degree without writing the LSATs and complete it in two years instead of three. As mentioned before, the University of Guelph Humber is a collaboration between the University of Guelph and Humber College. And the University of Guelph is part of the University of Guelph Humber family. 
and they are located in the city of Guelph, just one hour west of the GTA. They have 14 incredible degree programs, two of which are brand new. So I highly recommend you check them out as well. This whole time I was speaking, you might have been thinking about a certain program and, and thinking to yourself, hey, I'm interested in that, but how do I apply and what do I need? Let me break it down for you. If you have a copy of our view book, you can feel free to follow along on page 42 or throughout the slideshow as well. Now, the deadline to apply to university is January 13th, 2022. And how you apply is online at the Ontario University Application Center website at ouac.ca. And for requirements, you'll need your Ontario Secondary School Diploma. And for each of our seven focus programs, we do have an estimated admissions average of 75 to 80 percent. Now, let's say your average is between a 70 to a 74.9 percent, for example. We highly encourage you fill out what is called a student profile or a supplementary information form for students with disabilities, also known as an SIFD. The student profile or SIFD will just allow you to tell our admissions team if there were any factors that may have impacted your grades, like community involvement, being on a sports team, or any compassionate situations. Both these forms are due on May 1st, 2022, and they can be found on our website. In addition to that, we do have specific subject requirements. So depending on the program you're interested in, for example, business, we would need ENG for you, which is English or the equivalent any for you math, and then four additional for you or M level courses. Now, for those of you who are out of province applicants, my colleague Stefan will now share his screen and you'll be able to see our website where you can find the specific subject requirements by province and by program. So visit guelphumber.ca slash future students and you'll be able to find those under the high school applicant admission requirement tab. These can also be found on page 44 of our view book. If you're not ready for university right after high school, we do have many transfer pathways available into the University of Guelph Humber as well. Now let's move on to a topic that everyone loves to hear about. You might've guessed it, scholarships. You might've been wondering about tuition and as we all know, tuition can be expensive, but we have tons of great scholarships and bursaries for you. Feel free to check out this chart on screen or in your viewbook on page 35 for a tuition breakdown and any other expenses that you may have as a student. We have tons of great scholarships, bursaries, and awards to help you financially during your time here. And we also bill on a semesterly basis. To get you started, let me tell you about our Renewable Entrance Scholarship. So our Renewable Entrance Scholarship is based on your final admission average. Depending on your average, this can range from $2,000 to $5,000, and applicants are automatically considered but it doesn't just stop there. This scholarship is renewable for the next three years after admission. One of our top scholarships is the Founders Academic Merit Scholarship of $36,000. And this is awarded to 10 students who display high academic achievement and strong leadership abilities. You must apply and in order to do so, you must have a minimum of a 90% admission average. The deadline to apply is January 25th, 2022. So what are you waiting for? Go apply right now. We also have our Vice Provost Entrance Scholarship of $20,000. There are seven available each year, one per program, and this is awarded to the student with the final, highest final admission average, but you don't need to apply because applicants are automatically considered. Alongside our scholarships, we have tons of great bursaries like the Registrar's Needs-Based Entrance Bursary of $2,000, and this is based on demonstrated financial need. The deadline to apply is April 15th, 2022. If you identify as BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, or a racialized student, you can apply for our diversity entrance bursary of $2,000. And the deadline to apply is also April 15th, 2022. Have any of you here ever heard of specialist high skills major? Well, we have a SHISM entrance award of $1,000. And you can receive this if you complete any one of the seven recognized SHISMs with a minimum final admission average of 80%. We encourage students to look to um, external sources of funding and websites like Scholarships Canada. And you may have heard of a, a government assistance programs like the Ontario Student Assistance Program, also known as OSAP. Visit Ontario.ca slash OSAP for more information on that. Now, some of you might choose to take public transit to come to the University of Guelph Humber, but some of you might choose to live in residence. If you live in residence, you'll be living in one of our single style rooms, just a two minute walk away from campus. You can live on a theme floor like co-ed, health and wellness and quiet studies. If you live in residence, you are required to purchase a meal plan 
and residence does operate on, on a first come first serve basis. So as soon as you receive your offer of admission, apply right away to secure a spot. The deadline to do so is June 1st, 2022. If you choose to take public transit, we have Zoom, TTC, MyWay, and more that bring you straight to the bus loop on campus. If you choose to drive, we have uh, parking available both on and off campus, and you can purchase a parking pass or pay per day. What about all the supports and services you will get? At the University of Guelph Humber, we are a close-knit community, so we are able to offer you a variety of different supports and services. We have supports and services available on the Humber side of campus, things like the Student Wellness and Accessibility Center, the LGBTQ Plus Resource Center, the Indigenous Education and Engagement Center, and Black Academic Success and Engagement. Alongside that, we have academic advisors who are there to be guides for you throughout your four years at the University of Guelph Humber. And we have career and placement services, which can help you with things like resumes, cover letters, um, applying for jobs, finding placements, and more. There are tons of great ways to get involved on campus, and you can do so, and you can work a campus job. You can also join many of our clubs and societies, and even societies specific to your program. As a justice student, I joined Alpha Phi Sigma, our criminal justice honor society. You can also join many great events, and I was a part of Ignite Student Life, I was um, a promotions assistant there, so it was a great way to get involved on campus as well. Does anyone like staying active and playing sports? If you like to be active and play sports, you have the unique opportunity to do so as a University of Guelph Humber student. You can join our varsity team uh, with the University of Guelph and play for the Guelph Griffins, or you can join the varsity team on Humber College and play as a Humber Hawk. Now, if playing for varsity isn't your thing, we have many fitness facilities, weight rooms, cardio rooms, and fitness classes for you to join as well. Now, just hang with me for a few more minutes because I have some important dates that I do want to let you know about. So the first date is January 13th, which is the deadline for you to submit your application for university. January 25th is the deadline for you to apply to our Founders Academic Merit Scholarship. April 15th is a deadline for both the Registrar's Needs-Based Bursary along with the Diversity Bursary. May 1st is the deadline for you to submit a student profile or an SIFD if you need to do so. And last but not least, June 1st is a deadline for you to apply for residence and for you to accept your offer of admission. The last date I would like to highlight is our virtual fall information day coming up on November 21st, 2021. So visit guelphhumber.ca slash visit us for more information on that. If you missed any of these dates I just mentioned, they can all be found in our view book or on our website as well. And I do want to encourage you to either take an in-person campus tour if you're able to do so, or a virtual campus tour. So visit our website for that. And if you filled out an, an information card before attending this session, I want to thank you so much for doing so. It will just allow us to keep you updated with any other events and information you need to know as well. Lastly, I just want to say as a University of Guelph, I'm a graduate myself, the past four years have changed my life in so many different ways and given me the opportunity to make tons of new friends, get involved on campus, and just grow as a person and get outside of my comfort zone. So I do want to encourage you to explore your options, and hopefully one day you'll choose to make the University of Guelph Humber your home too. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us. Um, our website is guelphumber.ca slash future students. You can email future student at guelphumber.ca and our number is listed on screen. You can also follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. So thank you so much. And at this time, we will take any questions that you have for us. Awesome, great job, Rachel. So we have quite a few questions um, throughout the, the Q&A, so we'll do our best to answer them uh, with the time that we have. However, if we cannot get to um, any of the questions, please feel free to visit us in our booth. Uh, we have staff working until 6 p.m. and we'd be so happy to um, answer any of those questions one-on-one um, -on -one or through video chat. So uh, the first question we have um, relates to, are there any athletic academic scholarship opportunities? Uh, so. As a student at the University of Guelph Humber, you get the amazing opportunity uh, to try out for either Guelph as a Griffin or Humber as a Hawk, seeing that we are a collaboration between those two institutions. So in terms of academic scholarships, um, I do believe that both those institutions do have uh, some academic scholarships for uh, their varsity athletic players, but uh, we do always encourage you to 
Uh, if you know which team you might want to try out for, to kind of reach out to the coaches uh, of those teams to kind of uh, ask them specifically, because usually they know the budget for the scholarship um, and how they delegate that money. Uh, the next question we have is, do you offer full scholarships for online gradu uh, graduates or postgraduates in uh, pedagogy or teaching? Do you want to take that question, Rachel, or should yeah. I take it? Oh, I can go ahead. Great question. So we do have tons of scholarships and we do offer some scholarships even um, for students who would like to do their education online. I highly recommend you visit guelphhumber.ca slash scholarships and you'll get to see a full list of scholarships there that we have available to you. And Stefan, if you want to add anything, you can go ahead. No, I, I think <laughs> no, that's, that's short and sweet and good enough. Uh, what valuable experience just make sure I don't lose it. Yeah. Well, biology students get to experience at this institution. Uh, so at the University of Guelph Humber, uh, we do offer uh, kinesiology. Uh, we don't specifically have a biology uh, program. You can probably check our partner institution, the University of Guelph, or even Humber College um, if you're interested in a biology specifically. But we do offer kinesiology where you're able to learn about the body. Uh, and how it works and also get to work with amazing uh, population groups, whether it be elite athletes, uh, individuals with disabilities. Uh, so if you wanna learn more about the kinesiology program, we can always uh, dive deeper into that um, in our booth. But if you're specifically interested in biology, uh, I'll check out our partner institution, the University of Guelph or Humber. Uh, next question is, what is the campus life? Uh, this is a very big question. I can talk about it for years. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Rachel can. Uh, so Rachel, I don't know if you want to give maybe just like a small dose of, of what it's like, and I'll probably do the same. Quick summary, yeah, for sure. Um, so at the University of Guelph Humber, we are located right on Humber's North Campus. So uh, our, the University of Guelph Humber is four stories, and it's great because we have a little community there, but then you also have access to Humber College. So you have access to that bigger community on that side as well. So there are tons of great services and supports that you have access to. It's a great way to meet people from both the University of Guelph Humber and Humber College. And I'll let Stefan share some of his experience with that, with, um, that as well. Yeah, Rachel, you said it perfectly. Uh, being situated on the Humber North Campus, it really gives you the opportunity to uh, get involved with the campus life at our specific institution. But when you walk across the bridge that connects our institution to Humber, uh, there's over 30,000 students that you can also connect with as well. And I got the chance to, you know, uh, get involved in so many ways through campus life, whether it was as a student ambassador um, at our institution, getting involved through my program, but I also got to get elected by our campus uh, to represent both the uh, Guelph Humber and Humber as a board of directors for our student union, uh, which allowed me to advocate for over 33,000 students. So the campus life is really rich, uh, to say the least. There is, there's so much going on and so much that you can get engaged in. So once again, if you're interested to learn like more specifically about how you can get involved, uh, you can always uh, come chat with us at the booth and, and we'll give you the, the complete rundown. Uh, what type of scholarships do you offer? Uh, I know Rachel did allude to this uh, in the presentation. So just in case you did miss it, uh, we'll be happy to chat about that um, in the booth. We just want to get to some of the questions that uh, might not have been covered during the presentation. Uh, does the University of Guelph have a dental hygiene program? That's an awesome question. Yeah, great question. I can take that one. So we at the University of Guelph Humber, we do not have a dental hygiene program, but you can definitely check with our partner institutions, the University of Guelph or with Humber College, and you can check out to see if they have a dental hygiene program. And then I believe they're also at the fair, so you can just visit their booth and ask them any questions you have as well. Awesome. One thing I will note, Rachel, uh, as a student, uh, um, at the University of Guelph Humber, uh, through your student fees, uh, you do the, through the student fees that uh, you pay towards Ignite, which is our student union. You do get certain benefits, and that does co uh, cover like dental plans, uh, I believe eyewear, um, and and health insurance. So you do get insurance uh, in, in that capacity um, as well. Uh, next question. Um, I'm interested in a few programs. Uh, do I have to apply separately or is it one application? Uh, that was a great question. Uh, so to my knowledge, uh, when you apply to university, uh, your top three universities through the OUAC website or portal, uh, you do get three choices once again. 
Um, if you're interested in applying to, let's say, uh, our business program and our psychology program, um, it is important to note that each program uh, does count as one uh, choice in your in, in your top three. So they are uh, one application, they are separately. Yeah, and just to note that, it, let's say you apply to um, like three programs at the University of Guelph Humber, if you do so, um, we just love when you rank them in order of what program you're most interested in. It just helps us and um, yeah, that's awesome. So you can do that on the OUAC website. Awesome. Uh, are there any internship opportunities for every program um, or only uh, select few? So I did answer this question through the Q&A chat if you're able to see it. Uh, but just to reiterate, uh, each one of our seven focus programs, you are able to receive um, a workplace experience that will allow you to get anywhere from 100 to 850 hours of workplace experience. And once again, that's integrated into your program. It's not separate. It's not an extra year, uh, but it's, it fits within your program uh, and within the four years. Uh, next question. So I have a few questions about the CSS uh, program from my friend uh, who was not able to be here today. And I think uh, some of those questions were about placements, uh, hands-on uh, assessments, uh, scholarships. So uh, to answer that very quickly, I am a recent graduate of the CSS program. So once again, I can go on for years. Uh, but in short, you do get a placement. Uh, you get three different placements, uh, like Rachel said, where you're able to get over 850 hours of workplace experience in the field. Um, once again, there's lots of courses that give you hands-on experience. So once again, as a student uh, from the program who graduated, I took many courses uh, such as counseling one, uh, for example, where we would learn about it in the class and then we'd go into a lab right afterwards and practice what we learned um, in something called the experiential learning lab. So there are many practical uh, ways that you can basically take what you're learning uh, and put it into practice. And once again, once you graduate, seeing that you get a lot of that practical experience and the workplace experience as a student in the field, uh, it really prepares you to get a job in the field the moment you graduate. Great question. Uh, next question, uh, what is the enrollment process like? Should I take it or? Oh yeah, sure, you can go ahead. Uh, yeah, so it's similar to what uh, Rachel already mentioned uh, through admissions. So once again, you apply through the OUAC, uh, hopefully by January 13th, uh, making sure you have all the course requirements, uh, making sure that you know you have your high school diploma, uh, once again, um, and making sure you have an estimated average from 75 to 80%. If you don't have that average, if it falls below a 75%, uh, between that 70 to 74.9% average, we just encourage you to fill out a student profile or supplementary information form. And then once again, uh, you will see the, uh, receive an offer from us uh, uh, anytime between June 13th to uh, May 21st, uh, where you can um, then accept an offer from us if you receive one. All right, we're gonna quickly go along uh, just so we can get out of here on time. So the next question, um, I believe, I can find it. Uh, what is offered for remote learning students? So I believe I did answer this question uh, in the chat. Um, and by the looks of it, uh, do you have a game art program? It's interesting. Great question. So um, game art, um, we do have a media and communication studies program, which you may be interested in. So I do recommend you visit our website at guelphumber.ca slash future students and check out our media and communication studies program. It might be of interest to you. If not, you can also check with our partner institutions, the University of Guelph and Humber College to see if they have that specific program that you're interested in. Awesome. Uh, and the last question that I see um, is, can you do a double major? Uh, <laughs> definitely a great question. Uh, so at the University of Guelph Humber, uh, seeing that we offer focused programs, uh, it doesn't give you the opportunity to do uh, two majors at once, uh, simply because the program is focused. So that simply means that the program is set up in a way uh, where, for example, if you're interested in psychology, uh, we pack it with um, as many things and courses that are related to psychology. So once you graduate uh, from that program, you'll be like an expert uh, uh, because you got all the courses um, that were really like fine tuned to that program. So once again, because it's focused, it doesn't give you that option to do uh, uh, a double major, if that makes sense. Uh, another question I see, what are the minimum requirements for admission? 
Okay, perfect. Yeah, I can take that one. So just to reiterate some of the main points. So the minimum requirements for admission. So for each of our seven focus programs, we do have an estimated admissions average of 75 to 80%. Now let's say you're between a 70 to a 79, uh, 70, uh, 4.9, excuse me, percent, for example, then we, we encourage you to fill out what is called a student profile or a supplementary information form for students with disabilities. We also require your high school diploma. And then the last main point, let's say you're interested in a specific program, um, for example, justice studies. If you're interested in our justice studies program, we do have subject requirements. So we would need your ENG for you um, or the equivalent and then five additional for you or M level courses. So to find a full list of requirements, um, they can all be found in our view book and they're also on our website as well. Awesome, awesome. So that does look like the end of all the questions. So we thank you all uh, once again for attending the session and learning about who the University of Guelph Humber is. Uh, just to reiterate what Rachel said about some of the ways that you can connect with us. Uh, of course, we are here today in our booth. Uh, so you can stop by and, and chat with us. I uh, would love to see you. But if you don't get the chance to do that today, uh, like you said, there are many ways to, to stay connected. Uh, social media, for example, there are whatever works best for you, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube, we're there and we can connect with you there. If you have any questions and you want to email us, uh, you can email us at futurestudent.guelphhumber.ca. Uh, if you want to come in, uh, come to campus and see what it's like to potentially walk around as a future student, uh, we are accepting um, uh, in-person campus tours. So you can always register for one of those and kind of walk around and also see our amazing plant wall. Um, and once again, a couple things. Uh, we do have our fall information day coming up November 21st virtually. So you want to register for that so you can learn about our university more in depth. And once again, if you want to talk to one of us one-on-one -on -one or uh, uh, one of our colleagues, we do have one-on-one -on -one, uh, booking appointments where you can just have a 15 to 20 minute chat with us and just ask us any question that uh, you do have. So um, if that's it, uh, I'll give it to Rachel if you have any last comments and thank you again. Yeah, I just wanna say thank you so much everyone for coming out today and we'll also be here tomorrow. So stop by our booth. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask that. But thank you everyone. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Happy Friday. Awesome, take care.